What is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're actually going to be working on on this. Not oh. Matty. The the car. Do you want to explain? Actually, let me explain what's so. So I'm a, what no no listen, let me I'm just explain. So this video is gonna be basically fixing the most like dean not dangerous. Yeah, it's actually argued to be one of the everybody on the forums goes, Hi, I've got this issue. I've just driven my car down the road and now it's knocking. Can somebody tell me how much it's gonna cost me to fix it, please? <laughs> and everybody in the comments goes, Rest in peace. Rip. <laughs> yeah. So if you didn't know already, I'm actually talking about this light that you can see on the screen. Now, I actually got this light on the way to go to the track um, where I basically went and saw a load of like Ferraris. I actually alluded to it in that video, but I didn't say specifically what it was because I know there's going to be people watching this that are going to be very annoyed at me. The fact that no, I uh, saw the light. Stopped. Stopped. The recovery. So Josh stopped the car, called the recovery company, make sure it was switched off instantly to not cause engine damage. And then he was recovered on the back of a tow truck all the way back here. Yeah. So what actually happened was I continued to drive the car with the light flashing at me. Um, I then got to the place where I needed to go, got back in the car and drove it all the way back. So this engine uh, is probably toast. Don't do that. Fair yeah, enough. that's yeah. Right. So first thing says, First things first, we're gonna we're gonna eat our sub that's now integrated into the car. Installed. Installed. Uh, so I'm gonna eat my sub, uh, and then the next thing we'll the you'll see, off. yeah, jack it off, and then, and then put it on stands, stand up. Yeah, um, it is quite rusty, uh, but we're not gonna look at that today. That's another task. What have we got? Got a quick unveiling here from my six inches. Cheers, boys. Lettuce. Lettuce leaf. The, the rabbit. Explain what you got then, because you just said you just said. No, we'll go for it. We've got a six-inch here uh, on Italian herbs and cheese. We've got some some pickles, some uh, chipotle sauce, cucumber, tomato. What's the meat in it? Um, chigatica. Chigatica, we'll boys. You gotta comment in the description in the yeah, in the comments. Yeah, what is your subway order? And do you get a cookie as well? And if so, what cookie do you get? Mm, white chocolate. Yeah, every time. Do you remember when they did the white chocolate and raspberry? Yeah, that, that was that was, good though. Yeah, it was. Dude, that was insane. That was arguably one plate. of the best. Do I put this in the engine or in me? No, you can put that in you. Just in your orifice. Is it even going on it? You need to give me feedback, like what's going on? I'm on it. So guys, they've just came come to pick up Josh's car. <laughs> They've seen that there's a, a shitter here, so they've come to collect the, the trash. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's show them what, we're, what they're gonna need. So, that's a good angle. That's actually like POV angle. POV, isn't it? So, I've seen got, this somewhere before. It's kind of POV. <laughs> do you have to do it when people are watching? The guy's <laughs> yeah. like looking at me, they're funny. Afternoon. Oh, yeah. have a good day. Cheers, brother. He said, have a good day. What a nice guy. Yeah. This is not weird. Mm. Right, so we've got a nice little filter here. Sheesh, what else we got? We've got the O-ring. Uh, if you want all these part numbers as well, I'll leave them all in the description. You don't need to zoom in that much. Um, so yeah, I'll put them in the description uh, if you need them. So yeah, that's the uh, O-ring you're gonna need. The pickup pipe itself. So I'll show you a little bit more when I actually get it out of the packet. But yeah, this is a crap design by Audi. So well done, Audi. This is a sump bolt. No. That's the new uh, oil pressure sensor switch, sensor switch. And then we got, apparently this is like standard issue. So this is the actual sealing stuff. Whoa, that was professional. Right, you ready? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Fucking hell, we're getting good at this, John. Yeah. You didn't even get any on your hands, did you? Nope, no. I got absolutely <laughs> none. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick, quick! Oh, it's going over the camera. Put it in. 
That's what she said. <laughs> It'd be nice if we were laid with pina coladas. <laughs> whilst well, doing it. Oh, yeah. No, whilst not working on a shit box. <laughs> if we just had good finance cars <laughs> that we didn't have to work on. Oh. Oh, that's no, you know what? That, uh, uh, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll just reuse that one, bro. Yeah, that's not that's actually that bad. It's uh. nice, nice little crack there for the boys. Yeah. Uh, you get my good angle, yeah? Yeah, smile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get a better angle on this. So, guys, this is Josh. I'm not going to give you an angle into that. It's nice and relatively simple. You've got, I think. 12 of these, 10, 12. Josh just put 10, I've, I've already undone 10. <laughs> yeah, there's loads to be honest. And you just go all around the pan. <sighs> My balls are a bit itchy. You got it or? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a good one, I only just got that. <laughs> so we have a minute. <laughs> That's so good for you. Wait, what did, what did, you, what, what did you think of it? I don't know, I just did right. You were like, you got it, and I realized it's like, oh, you're going to scratch it before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to see your oil pan with all the like bits of metal from your rods in there. Half a bearing. Yeah. I think it's going to be like a pick and mix, like <laughs> worth of engine parts. <laughs> well, you know what they say? Reduce. Reduce. We use. Reduce. Kiki. Reduce. Reduce. Reuse. Ikiki. Yeah, if you are looking to do this job, don't. <laughs> no, we have to be, we have to be encouraging, mate. Yeah, you guys could do so this if super you, easy. If you, got, yeah. <laughs> if you had me with you, <laughs> easy. If you had Josh with you, no, don't even attempt it. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. Oh my God. I was making some good noises. Then you just loosen these. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, so just. Woo! Damn, son, where'd you find these? <laughs> That's one. This is Christian Le Bouton. One hundred meters. Can't fit an SUV. Oh, this is the one. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, yes, no oil. So, guys, we're here. we've been taking bolts out all day, and I think we're about there. We can have a bit of peeling. It's like Josh is peeling the carrot. We are rather excited for this. Been a long time coming. She has. She's ready to come. I'm ready to come. Ah, you're teasing me, naughty, naughty. Can't wait to inspect what's happening in there. God, I'm excited. What are we saying, boys? Lots of debris. No, no debris. Them. No, no debris. Now that'd be really good because then it's blocking up your pickup pipe, and then we know that's what your issue is, not actual oil pressure. Yeah, actually, lots of debris. Lots oh, of debris. Goodness. Oh, right. right. Here we go. Whoa. Damn, okay, let's drop off sensibly. What am I stuck on? Am I stuck on the pickup pipe? No. Yeah. No, you've cleared it. No, the. Oh. Uh. What's the pickup pipe saying? Wow. That is clean. Yeah, it's actually not that bad, is it? Bang it the other way so the oil goes the other way. 
Mate. Oh, there is some bits in it. No, nah, that's not. No, nah, it's nothing to worry about. Oh. Oh, that looks like a rather big bit. Is it metal? Yeah, it looks plastic. Oh, it, whatever it is, it's really brittle. Oh, at least we didn't spill any. Should have seen mine when I pulled mine off. Was it bad? Well, it doesn't look very like sparkly or whatever. Need, yeah, good. Yeah, no, that's really good. <laughs> Surprising because it's quite shit. So make sure you clean it off first to get all the old bits on. How do you? What's the best way of cleaning it? Just scrape it with a knife. Okay. Um, or like a flat thing, just to get the bit, bits off, and then. But yeah, you're saying go around the edge. Yeah, like this so, side. So, so it doesn't like when you push it up, so it doesn't go into. Yep. And then block your new pickup pipe. Okay. Nice. Thank you for your help. Matt is going, boys. So, say goodbye. Adios. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. ciao. So, I'm going to clean this out with a little bit of uh, brake cleaner uh, and then pour it into there because obviously that oil I'm not going to use again. So, give this a good wash down. <laughs> Back to it again in a minute, but let's go and get this pickup pipe off. Say bye to Matty boys. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, this needed doing so bad. Oh my god, it is horrific in here, boys. So as you just saw, took out the two 10 mils that was there. Another piece of whatever that is. I don't know if you can see, but like inside this sort of lip. Yeah, you're probably going to struggle to see, but you can kind of see it just filled with crap and then all of this as well all of this has just come out from the middle of that and if you think about it stuff like that it will ruin it will completely stop your um oil from obviously being sucked up from the scavenge pipe so yeah um it's done its job obviously there's not uh, still quite a bit of crap in here but uh, like I said it's doing its job it stopped it from going in the engine so I mean that's what it's designed to do so yeah that is your failure point unfortunately um, but yeah we've sorted it now um, but yeah I'm now going to clean the unside, underside of the actual sort of mating service, service surface I'm also going to finish off cleaning that once I've cleaned that I'm going to bring you guys back um, and obviously show the mating service that I would have clean under there and then we're going to start reassembling everything and then once we've reassembled everything before we put the oil in we are going to change not really see it but this just down here the uh, oil pressure sensor so let's let's clean this at all right so I have cleaned up all of the edges on here uh, it's pretty much spot on uh, the underside or the mating surface to this under underneath the car that's just behind me is pretty much exactly the same as this so next thing I'm gonna do is I remove this so this thing here is literally just held on by one 10 mil bolt here I don't know what this is this is some kind of weird other pickup pipe thing so yeah I've just took this down um, that basically again not too sure what it does but yeah I took this down so I can get a better sort of um, 
view. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I took this down. So I'm gonna put this back up. I'm gonna sort the um, pickup pipe out. So I'll show you that as well. I've got a new seal there that needs to go on. I'll show you that in a second, but yeah, let's get this back up, then the oil pickup pipe, and then we can have a look at sealing the uh, oil sump back up. So one new pickup pipe here, and then it's gonna use some of this oil just to lube up the O-ring that comes with it. There we go. And by the way, I'm literally hand tightening everything first. Well, I say hand tightening, I'm starting it off by hand first every single time on all these bolts because it's the bottom of the engine and I really don't feel like doing a full engine reel deal rebuild re re wrapping rebuild just yet so nice and gentle don't force it let it accept it and get this on it because it's a little bit difficult to get into otherwise there we go there we go. Right, next step, we need to get the oil sump on. But it's easy once you know what you're doing, boys. <laughs> so, the way I'm going to be doing this is uh, I am going to be putting the sealant on here, and as Matty said, sort of going to go on the uh, outside but where there's a hole obviously go around my car when i just took this off of what you may or may not have seen it had quite a lot of sealant sort of like on the inside of this so i am actually going to try and avoid doing that because i don't want sealant to sort of get inside the engine because that's not where i want it <laughs> plan here is to literally not get anything on anything else have my bolts at the ready which they are right, here we go stuck on this guys I've uh, managed to complete the install so everything under here should be nice and tight I'm gonna leave it to dry just the tiniest bit obviously not filled it with oil just yet made sure I've tightened up the drain plug tightened up the turbo return as well which is this little black thing here so tighten that up I'm now gonna move on to changing can't really see it. Just there, is it there? Just in sort of there. And uh, once I get it out, I'll show you a bit more. I'm gonna change that. First thing I'm gonna do is sort of remove this. So I've got a bit more sort of leverage, I guess you could say, to get down here. Because at the minute, I haven't got a great deal of space. I know people actually take this off, which I'm definitely not gonna do. I've took enough things off this car, so I am knackered. 
like literally absolutely knackered my arm you can probably already tell was like shaking so enough is enough let's just get on with this i'm probably going to skip all of the dismantling this and i'll just sort of show you the last little bit as to where it is and what you need to tighten it up with so let's go managed to get this out doesn't look actually too bad to be fair definitely sort of lot like build up around the side i was expecting some sort of oil inside here but nothing really in there the way that i actually got this out was you need a 24 mil so 24 mil and i did an extension through to here so as i said it's literally just there and i extended it all the way through all the way through into literally the bottom here uh, it's a good job i've got a quattro sport now i'm sort of going to do the same so I'll probably try and twist it in here, hand tight. And then again, I'll thread this all the way through from here, all the way in, got it, tighten it. It doesn't need to be massively tight. It's just tight enough for it to not to leak. Obviously it's got a crush washer on there. So tighten up until you feel the resistance, then a little bit more to crush the washer. And that should be it. And then obviously plug it back in. Enough talking, I'm gonna get this in, tighten this up, and then I'm gonna fill it with oil, get it running. I'm not gonna probably do it to running temperature i just want to make sure there's no leaks or anything like that and once we've got no leaks then i'll probably leave it to warm up but it's getting really late now i need to clean all this shit up as well but yeah i'm glad i did this because this is the reason why i've not driven this car in like four weeks so yeah i'm glad we're getting there still need to do something with this and it's because that's all grotty all right boys uh, managed to get it on all good all ready to go. Now I'm gonna fill it with oil. Obviously, I ain't gonna to go too mad. Well, I say too mad, obviously I'm gonna put four and a half liters in, uh, but obviously this is slightly lifted at the minute and the actual, so the dipstick is sort of this side of the engine. So all the oil will be running to that side. So I'm gonna go fill it up as much as possible, obviously. Beautiful. Fill her up. See, see if the engine blows out the top of it, which hopefully it doesn't. Right. There we go. I think they're a little bit loud at the start, but I think that's just oil trying to get to the top of the head. Everything looks all right. It's a bit juddery because I need to go and change the spark plugs in it. I think it's missing a little bit to be fair. Kind of want to don't want to do it too much just yet. Uh, but that's good. Doesn't look like any leaking oil, which is fantastic. That's the only thing I'm sort of bothered about. I'm going to end the video off here. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'll try and compress this into as small as a video as possible. I know it was probably all over the shop and for that, I apologize. Plenty more work on this car to be done. We're slowly, slowly getting there with this car and I'm so glad I also got to replace this little pesky thing. As you guys know, I mean, the engine car can't have been getting a great oil pressure with all that especially if I drive fairly spirited. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in any other videos that I do make on this car, please hit the like button as well. Hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon as well because you'll be notified every single time. I do upload a car a video on uh, this car. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Josh. What you saw before was Matty, but this is my TT Quattro Sport. And I hope you did enjoy that video and that 
boys and girls, it was my POV. Peace out, boys. This is not going to land because it's too full, but we'll give it a go anyway. Next Bosh. one. Bosh. Again. I mean, first try. Now, I've got to drink some out. We'll do it in a minute. We'll do it uh, in a minute. Okay.